January 28th. Um, not a bad day, not a great day, just a day. Um, Got some soft tissue work done. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep this. I did do a good job with um, productive today. I think of yesterday I made sure I was seeing how I made sure that after my breakfast I immediately started to you know turn off the TV and get shit done and I did felt good and I got a lot done early and it just carried with me the rest of the day so need to keep that up um, yeah starting the day well and making good decisions early really gives me momentum so I need to keep that up. How did I not do well? Um, no. Oh, another thing for that. So I palaced all of Hacksaw Ridge, the movie I watched today, which I love, by the way, and. I palaced basically all the important scenes. And yeah, I had the Google Maps open and where I was palacing it. And it helped so much. I need to start doing that for everything. It's great to have a mental construct by which you can do it on the fly, but having the actual palace there where you can place the marker to just help so much. So I need to start doing that. Um. What else? Oh yeah, how do I want to get better? Well, I will be, it's 1040 now, and I will be getting to bed before 11, so that's another plus for the day. Um, definitely focused on the, my necessities, or the things that I committed to at the beginning of the day, so that was good. As far as the Daily Stoic, uh, Today's lesson was um, watching the wise. And the quote was by Marcus Aurelius saying, take a good hard look at people's principles, especially the wise. See what they run away from and see what they seek out. Something that doesn't feel right. What they run from, what they run away from, and what they seek out. And then after that, it's a quote by Seneca saying, without a, without a ruler to do it against, we cannot make crooked straight. So if you don't have a ruler to compare something to, you can't make something that's crooked in line with it straight. And that is the role that the wise play in our lives. They serve as a model and an inspiration for us. They show us how we want to be, 
to show us the way that they got there, um, how to achieve that. And also, this is part of the Daily Stoic, but it's something else that coincidentally um, I heard today that was very much in line with it, was that even people that beat us or our rivals or people that were jealous of along with wise people and mentors um, they make us feel kind of humble and because they are essentially mirroring something that we feel that we can do that we have this power and if we look at them and we're like yes I have that in me to be that. I have the power to be, to live that way. And there's a dissonance because you haven't produced those results yet. But it's there. So instead of, well, in the case of like being jealous of somebody or, you know, being angry at somebody for something that you want and don't have that's when you need to find to stop focusing your energy uh, outward and redirect it inward towards yourself and your actions and your circle of choice and control um, but yeah that feeling of envy that feeling of admiration is a an ascent to what is already inside you because it resonates with yourself and I mean that in the opposite of ego type self the human self or soul that power within inside you you have that power. I have that power to be who I want. Like, let's say Robin Williams, or I just watched Hexa Ridge, Desmond Doss. Like, it resonates so deeply within me because that same fire is inside of me, that same energy is there. I just haven't manifested it and haven't achieved the results or produced the yield like these other people have. That's about it. And let's see if I can in Hacksaw Ridge another thing I learned or quote. One of the big quotes that I, that I took away from it was the world is so intent on ripping itself apart. I don't think it's a bad I I don't think it's so bad to want to fix a little bit of it. That's uh, not it. But it's something like that. Um, and the other quote was not a lot of men believe like you. But they, damn it. Most of the men don't believe the same way that you do. But they believe in how much. But they believe so much in how much. Okay. Don't believe the same way you do. But they believe in so much. They believe they believe so much in how much you believe. And I have to think of a better way to remember that. I'm gonna have to work the, through this right now. So right now I have that on um, a rock outside of the house. 
and I really didn't have much for it. I had like a cross, which is my symbol for belief. Um, and you're, you're kind of like holding it in front of you like this. Um, and that's kind of my symbol for belief. But that's kind of all I had. I just kind of had like an inlay of another cross, but that's not good enough. So most of them are dump. So I'll have that character as um, Captain Glover. X out cross. So I'll just have a big X on the cross. Um, and then I'll have another cross. And the inlay will be the move. How much you believe. I believe is so much. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. I don't want to spend it on here. But that's it. <laughs> Gotta get to bed. Um, doing a good job with using the rad roller, and I eventually want to for next month. I kind of have my things set up. So I want to start doing that tomorrow. I'm going to start basically. I'm basically going to start my January, February uh, new edition habits rituals for the next few days before February, just so I can get in a flow and work out any kinks. <laughs>